Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi on Sunday asked for the power to change Italy. For him, the vote was a one-time opportunity to radically reform Italy's flawed institutions. Renzi has been campaigning that his reforms would streamline Parliament, speed up the cumbersome lawmaking process and bring political stability to Italy, which has seen 60 governments in the past 70 years. But an overwhelming majority of people who voted rejected his proposals. But I tried to convince several of my friends that, was, that were thinking to vote no, to vote yes, because uh, I think that it's a way to, to change something. It's not the best reform, but it's uh, a good start. Uh, yes, we must have reforms, but it must be done well and intelligently. All opposition parties had lined up against the reform, but the loudest voice in the no camp was this man, Beppe Grillo. A former comedian turned politician, Grillo leads the anti-establishment five-star movement, which hopes that this result will propel it to win the next election and re-evaluate Italy's relationship with Europe. Matteo Renzi, the young, energetic, centre-left reformist who took office in 2014, staked his political career and the future of Italy on Sunday's referendum. But in the early hours of Monday morning, following his crushing defeat, he announced his resignation. The experience of my government ends here, he said. And in the year that saw the British vote to leave the European Union and the Americans to elect Donald Trump, Italy became the latest domino to fall as anti-establishment voting gathers momentum around the world. Kate Parkinson, CCTV, Rome.